Larry. Larry, you look so freaking good. What's going on guys? So y'all know we've been running this Rough Country 3 inch lift on Larry for quite a while now and everyone, literally everyone in the comments is always saying go higher, go higher with basically all of my trucks. But with Earl and Larry, I'm actually down to go higher. So that's what we're going to be doing today, installing a two inch coil spacer on top of the Rough Country spindle lift. So that coil right there, you can actually replace that with like a Rough Country, I think it's a two inch and it's just going to be stiffer it's going to raise the truck up and honestly a lot of reviews say it just makes it uncomfortable to drive because it is so stiff so i didn't want to go that route i wanted to keep the nice squishy stock springs and we're just going to go with a coal spacer that actually goes right on top of that spring the only other thing we had to do was get some um, camber bolts i think this side actually has some and then over here it's just the factory bolts that actually don't have any adjustment yeah I think that's right so here's what we're going to be installing got this off of amazon i'll have a link to it in the description just a collar cool spacer it's supposed to be a two inch they have a two a two and a half and a three but i figured we'd go conservative this this way and then hopefully we won't overextend anything and it'll give us a full five inch lift on here and it should be pretty big we've also got some camber bolts got these from americantrucks.com Hopefully these are all we need to get this thing happy and healthy. So let's go ahead and pull this thing inside and tonight I'm gonna start the teardown process. All right, since we're on some flat ground, let's just double check and measure. So we'll have an exact estimate. So yeah, six, five and a half, right at five and a half inches, right at 18 inches, the bottom of that balance right there. But now we have our comparison, let's get to it.
All right guys, well I just got done wrapping up Larry and honestly, this thing is sitting pretty tall and it's definitely leaning pretty hard. I wanna go ahead and hop up in and actually get my first reaction of getting in the truck. See what it's, see how big the difference is because I know it's gonna be pretty big. So, it's, it's a pretty big step now. All right, oh wow. Yeah. She's definitely leaning pretty good. And it feels actually really tall. This is like, I don't know if this is lame nowadays, but I know back in the day, if you could clear a bucket with your four wheeler, like it was pretty tall. Let's give Larry the bucket. Bro, angle uh Larry's sitting pretty tall. Let's go ahead and get it out in the morning. See how tall she is. All right, maiden voyage. Let's see, already have noticed I don't think it's gonna rub at all anymore. I know it turns way better than it did. We'll see, uh, I'm curious to see how stiff this mug is now, how she rides, but we're about to find out. Oh yeah, we can like turn all the way now. is boys y'all comment down below let me know what you think <laughs> larry's sitting pretty tall i'm not gonna lie pretty freaking tall i guess technically a full five inch lift now but i think it actually raised it more than two inches there so i'm thinking it's like six inch or bigger now we're gonna measure we're gonna get the tape measure out and, and measure the spots that we did before but dude larry is larry's leaning i think honestly if we put the two inch lift blocks in the rear raise the rear up some it's gonna be perfect it'll still have a little bit of lean or it should but also we'll cure our clearance issues in the rear it's probably the biggest i've had since the tacoma i don't know if i mentioned that prior or not but probably the biggest lifted truck i've had since the tacoma y'all know i love my leveled trucks or you know shorter trucks i can't call them leveled because people get triggered because they're a little lower in the back but um yeah dude larry is uh larry's got that big boy ground clearance going on now that's the one thing i love about the two lifting the tool drops like this they just have boatloads of ground clearance. I'm excited. So far, so good. Larry is big. Truck is looking awesome. We got uh, pretty much the biggest lift we can put on there. I don't know why I said pretty like that. Pretty much. We got, we got pretty much the biggest lift we can put on there now. Um, honestly, the two inch coal spacers was, I'm glad I went with a two and not three because I almost went with a three. And that would have been honestly a nightmare because this thing was honestly a struggle to get that spring back in there. And if we look, uh, the tiniest little bit of bend in them, you know, you'll see some of these trucks that have a super bad bend and it just looks like they're about to explode out of there. This, that's not the case here. It's not under that big of a pressure, but it just, it's at the angle. The angles have got it a little bit, a bit, a little bit bent. Uh, no issues with our brake lines or anything like that. They're totally fine. It's just the, you know, the design of these there. They're completely fine. So honestly, everything came out pretty easy after I figured out the other side. And uh, the, the main thing is just getting that spring back in there. That's, that's really the only annoying part. Oh, Larry, Larry, you look so freaking good. All right, let's get the tape measure on it. Before we were sitting at five and a half inches and now we are sitting at, was that seven and three fourths? Looks like it if I'm holding it correctly and looking at it correctly. So that would give us a little bit over 
two inches of lift, right? Five, six, seven, a little bit, like uh, two and a quarter inch. So let's go down here, 18 inches before. It's sitting a little bit over 21 inches. All right, guys, I figured we end the video off a little side-by-side -side comparison next to baby squats. So as far as ground clearance goes, dude, Larry is freaking just towering over here. Not super tall compared to the truck or the Silverado, honestly. They're pretty similar. But even with Larry squatting, it's about the same bed height. And then fenders. Larry's got that beat, mirrors taller, roof taller. The, the actual truck body is way taller. So if you see, it's several, several inch difference taller underneath than it is over here. I guess a five and a half inch lift technically sitting pretty right if I do say so myself. I mean, that's pretty beefy. That, that, that. Larry's pretty tall. Definitely comment down below. Like I said, let me know. We throw that rear lift in here or leave her leaning. <laughs> a little comparison between Huey and the truck. He can now literally walk underneath the front end. Like, that's a good... <laughs> you could really tell how high it is now. Like, it might not look like a tall truck overall, but daggum, Larry got some freaking ground clearance now. Yeah, Larry, you looking tall. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Definitely comment down below. Let me know. I'll see you in the next one.